What's going on guys? Astro with Hidden Profits Crypto. Before we get into today's video, as usual, I want to give a huge thanks to everybody who's been supporting the channel. We just hit 3,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel. If you guys haven't hit that subscribe button yet, we upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and we show a lot of low-cap altcoins, hidden gems, and other great projects. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, guys, so very excited for this one today. Uh, we got an announcement from Cadex, and they're actually releasing the X wallet uh, in its beta. Now, this is a Chrome extension wallet that's going to be used uh, for interaction with Cadena uh, ecosystem applications. So um, I figured we would just go ahead and take a look at the thread on Twitter. And then we're going to go through, I'm actually going to show you guys how to set it up. Uh, that way, maybe if the instructions are a little confusing and you just want to see somebody do it, uh, we'll quickly go through that. And then I'm also going to kind of just uh, send some Cadena over and show you guys how that works as well. So anyways, let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, so here we are on Twitter. Uh, so you see here that Cadex said, uh, we're pleased to announce the X Wallet official, a web extension wallet powered by Cadex is now in beta. X Wallet will enable seamless dApp interaction without ever having to leave your browser. Check it out here at xwallet.cadex.com. And we're gonna just go ahead and read through uh, this little thread here. So user experience is an important part of every ecosystem. And we firmly believe that devoting time to creating a polished and robust Cadena native wallet uh, that is easy to use and interact is an essential pre-launch item for Cadex itself. I completely agree right now um, for a lot of people who might just be getting into Cadena. Um, once you kind of find out, you know, how Chainweaver and Zellcore are, are the main wallets. Um, if you're new to crypto, those can be very uh, intimidating just because of the multiple chains and the user uh, interaction. You know, it can be kind of, uh, you know, it, it's intimidating definitely for new people. So uh, getting a web extension that's very easy to use, I think will be great for bringing some new people into Cadena. Um, but within X Wallet, users will be able to send and receive assets, execute cross chain transfers, view transactions, interact with dApps, create and manage contacts. At launch, X Wallet will provide a simple kit to interact with dApps, with more features uh, being added as Cadena evolves. By default, all accounts created within the X Wallet are K accounts. When installing, users can create a new account or import their current account. Uh, we're really excited to be launching this innovative product. Cheers to 2022. So, um, definitely wonderful to see this coming out from Cadex. I'm super excited for this wallet. Now, there are some other uh, extension wallets for uh, Cadena, but we all know that Cadex is, um, is kind of what everyone's waiting for. Uh, the exchange is going to be huge, so it's wonderful to, for them to get this wallet out before uh, the rest of that stuff comes out. So, anyways, I figured we would quickly um, go ahead over here to the xwallet.cadex.com and uh, this is the kind of how to install uh, guide. All right, so before we get into this, uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and download it. Now, I downloaded it to my desktop because uh, I just went ahead and extracted it. Uh, so I just, you know, it's on your desktop, right click uh, and then extract here. And then you'll get this folder called build. Uh, so if you're looking for it to say X wallet, it, it is this folder here. So uh, as long as you got that, you're good to go. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna do, now this should work for Brave and Chrome as they're built basically off the same thing, um, but Brave, uh, the settings are show up a little bit different. So I'll just go ahead and show you that. So, you know, go ahead and hit uh, these three little bars up here and then click settings. And then that'll take you uh, right here to the settings page. So uh, you're gonna wanna click extensions and then um, I, I believe for Chrome, it kind of is somewhere else, but down here, you're going to see manage extensions. So just go ahead and click that. And that should take you to this page right here. Now, what you're going to want to do is turn on developer mode. And what that's going to do is allow you to uh, load these files or the extensions into the actual browser itself. Uh, so once you got the developer mode on, you'll see this load unpacked up here. So you're going to go ahead and click that. Going to go to your desktop and then look for that build folder that you extracted. So go ahead and select folder, and then that will open up this here. Uh, so you can just go ahead and click start now. Uh, so you see here, never collect keys, address, tram uh, transaction, balances, hash hashes, or any other personal information. Never collect your full IP address, never sell uh, data for profit ever. So that's great. Um, click I have read and you know go ahead and read the terms of use if you want to um, we're just gonna go ahead and create a new wallet so create new wallet go ahead and put your password in uh, confirm the password and then go ahead and click create so after you click create uh, it should say success 
uh, new password is created. So in the next step, you're going to record your 12 word recovery phrase. Uh, so obviously I'm not going to go ahead and show that, uh, but click this and then go ahead and click continue uh, and then do the rest of the seed phrase or recovery phase. Uh, and then I'll meet you guys at the next step. So after you've recorded your recovery phase, I uh, go ahead and type each uh, word in here, just like you would with basically any other wallet and then go ahead and click continue. All right, so after you go ahead and put in your recovery phrase, it should just ask you to go ahead and put your password in. So put that in and then go ahead and click sign in. Once you put your password in and sign in, uh, it'll bring you to this page. Now, something else I wanted to show you guys, if you want a way for your extensions to show up here, uh, you can go ahead and click the little puzzle piece. Uh, and then once you do that, you can click this little pin and then that'll actually add uh, the extension up here, which then it gives you this little uh, little one. So you really don't even have to have this open. And if you don't want, you can just go ahead and do it through here. Uh, so basically that is your wallet set up. Uh, you can see here all your different chains. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to chain one because uh, I'm going to go on to Zellcore and I'm just going to go ahead and send a little bit of KDA over here uh, to double check that everything works the way it should. So obviously to do so, you're just going to go ahead and click receive, put your wallet address in uh, just like any other way, and then go ahead and send the cadena over. So I'm going to just quickly do that uh, to show you guys that it does work. All right, so I went ahead and hopped on Coin Metro and sent like 0 .01 uh, KDA over. I use them because their fees are really low. Uh, so it's really good just to test to make sure your wallets are good. Now, something I did want to make sure I went and said is make sure you guys are using the correct chain because uh, if you do send it to the wrong chain, you might have some issues there. Um, but I figured we'd also, while we wait for this transaction to come in, uh, this little middle button here, you can see all your activities uh, for transactions and all pending activity, you know, transactions going in and out. Uh, so there's that. And then the settings, uh, you know, you can you can export your recovery phase if you need to, uh, add custom networks, kind of like how uh, MetaMask is. And then uh, you can add or remove and manage all your contacts there. Uh, so we're just gonna kind of sit here and wait a second and wait for this KDA to show up. And when it does, I'll check back in with you guys. So after waiting like 10 minutes and forgetting that I'm supposed to uh, confirm it in my email like an idiot, uh, it finally came through. So you can see I have 0 0.01 uh, KDA on this wallet now, uh, which, you know, is like 10 cents, um, but it does work. So that's wonderful. Um, and yeah, so the, I'm really excited for this wallet. It looks great. It works great. You know, for a beta, I think I think they're already on track. Uh, so also keep in mind, since it is a beta, if you guys run into any uh, bugs or any issues, I would highly suggest you guys hop in the Cadex Discord. And uh, I'm sure they have a channel somewhere where you can let them know um, about any bugs because that stuff always helps make the wallet even better. So that way, when it does actually release officially, um, you know, they can have all those little issues worked out. So that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I really do want to kind of be like the hub for Cadena. So, uh, you know, if you guys are really interested in Cadena and you want to stay up to date with all Cadena related information, uh, including, you know, when CADEX and all these other launch pads and things launch uh, definitely make sure to subscribe and stay tuned because i will be bringing out pretty much any info on cadena that comes out um, as i do love this project and i'm really passionate about it so uh, i want to bring all that information to you anyways if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think about the x wallet uh, and how excited you guys are for cadex's launch like i said we upload every monday wednesday and friday so make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out uh, that's going to be it for me today. I will see you guys later. And until then, peace.